So let's kind of move on and, and look at uh, more complex aortic interventions where we're putting in snorkels and chimneys. This is a patient who had a previously placed endograft, and that is almost flush with one of the renal arteries. So on the workstation, again, this is how we plan those operations. We'll, we'll draw in those circles where we want to land the endograft. We'll draw in the origins of the visceral and renal vessels. Um, and we'll draw in those center lines where we would like to see the, the, the wires. And, and you can choose to actually overlay all of these, or in this case, you can choose to overlay the one where, where we're kind of having trouble with. And in this case, it was a left renal because we're having to come up and over the top of the endograft. And as you know, you can often do this with a reverse curve catheter, but you may or may not be able to get a sheath to track over the top of this device because that can be uh, particularly challenging. And so what we did in this situation was, once again, what you're going to see is the robot coming up here. So we have the three components. We're going to have the wire, the leader. The leader is barely outside the end of the sheath. And so I'm advanced up over the wire in traditional fashion. Now what we're going to do is bring that, um, we're going to bring the leader up. Typically we will bend that sheath away to give us some working room for the, for the leader catheter. Pull the wire back, uh, put in the appropriate bend in the leader, and then catheterize that vessel. And we're not quite as fast as I'm going to show you here, but you can see essentially how, how this works. And we advance the wire. And the wire actually went up a branch. We kind of reoriented that. But you can see it was, is through the origins just going off through one of these branch vessels. And we can reorient that with the catheter actually fairly easily.